Welcome back to JK McLee. Today I'm working on uh, a couple of Polands, believe it or not. Uh, when you pick up saws, it's, you know, somebody, you go for a, a specific saw, and the guy's got like, you know, two, three of them. As, you know, do, do you want them? I'm going to throw them out. You know, I'm just going to throw them out. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? You know, if it's, if it's free, it's for me kind of thing. And uh, and it, most of the time it's you know it's beat down junk. But every once in a while you get you know you get a few. You, you throw a little fuel down the, the down the throat and it sparks off. I'm like, all right, well, you know, I'll keep these as a uh, you know little spares or whatever. Um, this one here, the badge is a Craftsman. Uh, all it really needed was a, a fuel line. Yeah, the, the the kit. I mean, the uh, diaphragm in there was still pretty pliable, and. You run through the tank, you know, a little spare tank there. This is the original out of here. This one's cracked. Man, wasn't even going to try with this one. But essentially, it, it sits in this position. The fuel line goes in that little hole right there, comes out, runs through the handle, and out a little out a little hole into here, into the into where the uh, carb is. And the same thing with this one here. You know, it comes out of the tank. Runs through the handle, down, and there's a small hole on the bottom, and it runs through. Uh, this one here, and it was fairly clean. Uh, the tank was clean. You know, replace the fuel line, and this comes apart like a clamshell. You have one, two, three, and there's one on the bottom, and the whole thing, left and right side, comes apart, and it pretty much exposes the rest of the engine. They're pretty, they're pretty simple to work on. And Throw this cover back on. And of course in the tank. And I'll put a small, you know, put the line in there, fuel filter, get that all set up. This one here, the, the diaphragms were just pretty much shot. It's, it's probably never been uh, never been worked on. So Calls for this is a Brom Bro. What is it? K10 uh, WT20. Calls for a K10 watt WAT kit. Now you get a bunch of stuff in here. It's made for a variety of different uh, different carburetors. So you have to pick and choose what you know match your parts of uh, which you need the diaphragms and the you know the, the fuel pumps and stuff like that. Yeah, your needle gives you like two different size needles. And the rest of the parts are pretty much pretty much there. Let me get started with the uh, micro screen. What I like to do is back end of a transfer punch. Usually works pretty good. And just press that right in there. Side here we have a new needle. We give you a new. What? No, actually, I grabbed the. <laughs> I grabbed the. Get out of there. I grabbed the old needle. Let me separate this. I don't mind up putting the old parts back in. There we go. Now we do. New needle. Spring to stand. That's the fun part. There we go. Rod in there. Like so. And slide it beneath. Fumbly fingers in the way.
Yeah, it's just sitting a little low beneath the surface and bend up on that little tab right there so that it's even with the, with the surface around it and that should put you where you need to be. The old one was sitting a little higher than that. Let's, let's see, yeah, probably just a, it's about level. Yeah, I like to go just a hair higher. That's about right. Let me see if I can get you in focus here. Cross here, so you can see it working. As it lifts the needle up, pushes it back down, and right about there, just a hair above. Okay, clean this out here. Well, best laid plans of mice and men. For some reason the GoPro must have gotten hot and stopped recording in the middle of the of the file. Yeah, the original video got to about this point and then she quit. And the uh, GoPro became unresponsive. Generally, you uh, stop it, pull out the battery, wait for 10 seconds, pop it back in, and it usually cures what ails it. Uh, pretty much case in point. I, mean, I checked the file, I, th I thought it was all there, but... Nope. So I get to about, that, about this point here, and... Uh, can't do a, a carb rebuild without actually rebuilding the carb, or at least showing my work. So, so I put the fuel pump. Actually, probably easier to do it with the index points. Okay, yeah. One, two. Here, show the fuel pump is down with the with the body. Okay, let's see what we got. Turn that over. Okay, make sure all the index points align. And there we go. Do I have it right? So we got here. The next point. Oh yeah, the spring is holding. All right. Yeah. It's in. And looking at looking at it straight down, it's the little flappy gasket, uh, the uh, fuel pump part, and the gasket on top of it. Fuel pump closest to the body. side. It is the gasket first against the body. It has its own index pins right there. The diaphragm itself it lines up with the pins. This one here. Side. And there we go. And she's holding. 10 PSI. Let's pop this back on, see if she fires up. Okay, get it back. 
back on. The, let's see, here we go. Now this one here, it goes in that second hole from the bottom. This right, okay. There we go. Second from the bottom. There we got it. Try to look at it at the monitor and, and <laughs> at the same time. There we go. That should do it. Look at the monitor left is right and right is left. I'm trying to just get it to see. Get you to see what I see. anything. GoPro for a few years now. It's fairly reliable. Uh, gotta check if it's responsive. And just to make sure we got this right. Turn it on. Took a little bit to prime. Yep. Let it warm. Do my adjustments. And now we're done. <laughs> Welcome back to JK McGlue. Still working on this Poland 2000. And we're doing the oiler on it. And that oiler servicing. And the way these work, got the oil inlet hole here. There's a hose between there and what they call a pump. It sits right in this hole here, held in by two screws. And there's a line that comes out of there. <laughs> and as I drop it, and as I drop it, <clears throat> comes out of that hole and attaches to here. Now the way you oil is is that the oil tank itself is pressurized and it forces the oil 
through here and out that little tube and into the oil in you know the oil outlet i guess it oils the bar you can see the earthy remains of what was in there so i'm going to try to snake this through here try to pull it around out this hole attach it to here what you have to do is you have to pull the line to where it's flush with this hole here in the casting let's see if i can do that Try so if I can pull it in because there's really no room to get it in on the other side. I'm not sure how to you know, weasel that thing in there, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> a little bit of trial and error, but I got it. The easiest way I found to get that hose through is take a small wire with a little hook on the end of it, put it through the hole, the oil comes out. Out on the other side where you add oil to it, to the tank. A little hole in the hose, taper it on the end, and then pull it through. It's just no idea you're going to get a tool in there. You just kind of reach in there and get the balance of the hose. The only thing you have to do now is clip it flush. Flush as you can. There we go. And just gently push back what remains. It's got to be below here. Come roll, please. Hopefully that should do it. Now I'll take a little razor blade and I'll cut it down nice and flush. So these little foam filters have to be at the bottom. Pump back in. Two screws. There we go. Raise the blade, cut that back a little bit, make sure it's nice and flush. And hopefully this gal should oil. We'll get it all back together and see what we get. Put a little bit to prime, but the oil is back oiling. Uses pressure on the tank. I don't know how good that is. It's still bubbling even after even after I shut it off. But as long as it's oiling. back together pulling 2000 
new fuel line, carb rebuilt, uh, new oil line. As you can tell, she oils quite well. Nice and clean. And look, this gal's ready to find a new home. Thanks for watching.